Hey everyone, this is Nicole from NK Artistry Creations. Welcome to my channel, and if you've been here before, I really appreciate you coming back. If you'd like to follow me on my fluid art journey, please subscribe, hit that like button, and notification bell to be notified when I post my next video. So today's pour is on a 16 by 20 canvas, um, and I'm gonna do a flip cup. Now, I have not done a flip cup in a very long time. I've been um, primarily focusing on Dutch pours and um, trying to get that technique down. But I really do want to expand in other techniques and do other techniques. Um, hopefully you are interested in seeing that as well. But I also just, I want to expand my horizons. Um, that is one thing I told myself I was going to do for the new year is Try new things, learn new things. So this flip cup, um, I'm going to pour in three cups here. I'll show you the colors that I have. I mean, I'm gonna show you white, but who needs to see white? Um, white by Blick, it's a titanium white. And then this is a burgundy by Windsor and Newton. Just a plain old black, it's Mars Black by Blick. And this is a custom, kind of a light gold. Let me show you the, the two bottles that it's from. It's a folk art. I picked this up um, one time when I was at the store because it mesmerized me. First, it's um, this Extreme Glitter Hologram, which is super pretty. So there's a lot of uh, shimmer in this. And then I mixed it with this uh, Metallic Antique Gold. And I mixed it one part of this, three parts of this hologram white. Okay, the next color is, um, this is grayish blue by Amsterdam. And the last color I'm using oops, is pale olive by Windsor and Newton. So uh, I actually got this color scheme from Pinterest. So if you're ever looking for color ideas um, and you want to be inspired by a color, Pinterest is a great place to go. I honestly just typed in winter color palette and it just brought up so many different colors. Um, this is close to the palette that I saw. Um, I'll post a, I'll put a little picture up right here, probably down in this corner or something like that. Um, so you can see the, the palette that I chose for this. So hopefully we'll see how it goes. I did not put any silicone in any of my paints, just so you know as well. And everything is mixed, one part paint to two parts of my pouring medium recipe. And uh, I have to say, this was kind of difficult to mix and not add water. I'm so used to Dutch pours and the consistency of Dutch pours that leaving it uh, a thicker consistency was very hard for me. I did add some water to it, to be honest, because I don't know. I don't know why I have concerns. I know this is the way that it needs to be done, but not doing other techniques like this has, I need to flip, I need to flip the switch in my brain to know that this is what needs to be done for this particular technique. Um, I didn't add silicone. I don't really want to go there yet. I do know that um, it creates beautiful cells, but I'm not really concerned about getting cells in this in this pour. So let's begin. All right. Okay, now it's time to flip these babies over.
pepper. Okay, so now I'm gonna take, these are so suctioned, I'm gonna take a pin and pop a little hole in the bottom to let some air in the cup so they're not so suctioned to the canvas. Coming up, you're gonna see me um, remove the cups. And one of the things that I do that I shouldn't have done is I'm holding the cups over the painting. <laughs> As you can see right there, drip, drip. <laughs> oh, pretty cups, but I'm dripping all over into the part that I'm going to be spreading out. And here I, oh here, let me just drip all over the place. Um, that was not a good idea because it created some things once we get it tilted, you'll notice. So a couple things that I tried to fix and I didn't like it. I fixed them, but, and I do like the end result, but I shouldn't have done that. Just a little tip if you try this for the first time, be cautious of dripping all over your painting because you might not really want all those drips on there because it will be a part of the composition. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pop some bubbles. Some, some weight here to help it flow a little better off the canvas. Okay. Let's do this. I'll speed this part up start slow I'll speed it up so you don't have to watch it in slow motion so much This drop, it looks like a drop of paint is driving me insane. Um, so, I'm gonna kind of wreck this piece here.
I make any changes to it, I will put, um, I'll try to video it, but if I don't, I'll put pictures at the end. I think I'm kind of happy with it. I really love this section here. That's pretty cool. I might have overstretched a little bit, but I'm pleased for my second ever flip cup pour. Not too bad. Not too bad. All right, so stay tuned. I will have a close-up and um, some photos for you. I appreciate you, and thank you for joining me. Please join me again for the next video. And if you liked what you saw today, I would love for you to hang out with me again. Um, hit that like button, subscribe, throw me a comment, let me know what you think. Thank you. Bye.